Well, what a better way to end the uh, season for the Detroit Lions. Yeah, um, I'm at a loss for words. Um, a lot of mistakes in the second half. First half was best half the Lions have played in a long time. Um, offense was cl clicking on all cylinders. And the defense was playing pretty good against uh, Christian McCaffrey and the Niners. And when I say Christian McCaffrey and the Niners, no disrespect to Brock Purdy, but Christian McCaffrey uh, carried that team tonight. And, I mean, he's done it every game for the 49ers this year. And I, Brock Purdy made a lot of uh, solid passes. He made a lot of bad passes. And uh, same thing goes for the Lions. Jared Goff made a lot of good passes in the first half. Uh, but in the second half, had a lot of uh, helicopters and just a lot of off-target passes. And uh, you can make a case that um, Josh Reynolds on that fourth down um, and two, at, I think it was the uh, 49ers, like 25, 26 yard line. It was somewhere, it was deep in uh, the 49ers territory. And they obviously, Dan Campbell should have kicked the field goal. And uh, he didn't. And I'm like, okay, it's fine. Made a mistake. Should have should have kicked the field goal instead of going for it. I'm sure he'll learn from his mistakes. Wrong. He did not uh, learn from his mistakes. He made the same mistake and went for it again on fourth and two. This time at the 30 yard line. So I guess he just didn't have any trust in Michael Badgley. And uh, I mean, I'm, Michael Badgley, he's not the greatest kicker, but at the same time, he is. He's a, he's, a, he's a kicker that can make those types of field goals. And I think, I, I don't know, I just think that he's, he's, Dan Campbell should have went for those field goals there. And uh, I'm not blaming this all on Dan Campbell. I'm not blaming this all on Jared Goff. Josh Reynolds had a couple of drops. He had a couple of drops in the second half that were uh, key, key drops. He should have caught the ball, especially on the fourth down in a conversion. As I say, he dropped the pass and then... He had another uh, drop. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was third down. And uh, that was a bad drop as well. Um, Jameer Gibbs had a fumble. First and 10 at the 25 of their own. Fumbles the ball. I think it was five. Wait, yeah, five plays later. Um, they got a touchdown. If I'm not mistaken, that was pretty sure it was Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, Christian McCaffrey had the rushing touchdown uh, from a yard. And that tied the game up for the 49ers but there's so many mistakes defense did not play well at all in the second half as i said first half they played pretty well pressured brock purdy made a lot of terrible passes in the first half threw an interception to uh, malcolm rodriguez uh but uh, just a lot of bad sloppy play by the lions in the uh, second half they defense played terrible jared goff in my opinion didn't play the greatest yeah he had a couple of passes that were decent. Uh, Jamison Williams had a great game. I, I think a lot of people should realize that that he had a great game. He had two touchdowns, had a rushing touchdown from 42, 42 yards out in the first uh, drive of the game for the Lions, and then also had that touchdown at the end, and I know a lot of people would be like, well, that was a garbage touchdown. Eh, it wasn't really a garbage touchdown. Um, it was, it was it, they still had a chance, uh, but then I, I think... There's just way too many, just way too many mistakes. Way too many mistakes in this game. And I think the 49ers won because they made less mistakes. 49ers made a lot of mistakes too. As I said, Brock Purdy with the interception. Um, he had a lot of bad passes. The defense in the first half of the 49ers was awful. It was terrible. Just like the Lions defense in the second half. Unfortunately, the Lions defense was worse than the 49ers defense in the first half. And it's just, that's, that's, that is what it is, I guess. And we got to move on from it. Uh, a very tough loss. Came a long way, though. Got a great win in the wild card round against the Rams. Uh, good win against the uh, Buccaneers in the divisional round. And what should have been a win, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Same thing with the Packers last week. They, they could have easily beaten the 49ers. Just like the Lions. They could have easily beaten the 49ers. It's just the way it is. 
The 49ers are the better team. Plain and simple. I know a lot of people hate the 49ers. I wouldn't say I personally hate the 49ers. I don't like them. But, I mean, they just they just got the better of us tonight. And uh, that's all I can say. And uh, we, as, as Josh Allen says, or as he said, excuse me, you win and lose as a team. That's You win and lose as a team. This was not on Dan Campbell. As much as I hate him for making those calls on fourth down, he didn't learn from his mistakes. Yeah, that sucks. It wasn't all his fault. It wasn't all the defense's fault. Yeah, they were terrible in the second half. But it wasn't their fault. It wasn't or it wasn't all their fault, excuse me. It wasn't all of Jared Goff's fault. He yeah, he had a lot of really bad passes in the second half. Played good in the first half, but you gotta play the full game, obviously. And I'm not I'm not upset with Josh Reynolds. Yeah, he had a couple of drops, but I mean he, he just have those mistakes. I'm not upset with Jameer Gibbs. Yeah, he had a fumble, but I mean he had a solid game. I mean Laporta, solid game. Jamison Williams, great game. Amon Ross St. Brown, not the greatest game, but still got the job done. Got some crucial catches in that first half. Didn't really, he went, and that was another thing. He was quiet in the second half. They, the Lions, the, our offense just was quiet in the uh, second half, and their defense couldn't make any stops either. They, 49ers had five drives in the second half. <clears throat> Well, six drives if you count the last one, but the last one, it there wasn't really much going on in the last one, and but the first five drives, all points scored, field goal, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown or field goal and then another touchdown, and that's that's unacceptable. They didn't make any stops. That's plain and simple. In the first half, they forced the 49ers to punt. I think it was once or twice, twice. I think it was yeah. And then they also got an interception, too. Um, but just overall, you lose, you win and lose as a team. And today they lost, and they lost as a team. And it sucks, but it's time to move on to the next season. And uh, they'll, they'll be good. They'll be good next year. They got a young team, great head coach. Yeah, Dan Campbell makes some bad mistakes, but he's still a great head coach. Great GM and uh, Brad Holmes. Great offensive coordinator. In my opinion, Ben Johnson is the best offensive coordinator in the whole league. Aaron Glenn, I gotta be questioning some of his calls. He's an okay defensive coordinator, but he's just, I don't know, some of those things, some of those calls, it, just, mm, it is what it is. But um, they'll be back next year. And uh, now it's time. For March Madness, baby. I know I'm moving on already, but I'm a huge fan of March Madness. Go UWGB men and go Wisconsin Badgers.